Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back, hanging out, all that stuff. I appreciate it. I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. I'm trying to do the same. And if you're new here, I am Jim. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for tuning in as well. I make videos about editing your photos using different software packages, just trying to explore creative options and uh, remove some of the complexity that you may find in these tools. I love these tools. Today I'm in Luminar 4, which I adore. And I'm going to make a video about something I have literally never made a video about, and that is how to create and add a watermark or a logo to your photos in Luminar 4. And the reason why I have never done a video about it is because I don't use watermarks or logos in my photos. Visually, I find them distracting. I don't really like them. If you do, that's fine. This is not, I'm not here trying to debate the merits uh, or demerits of using them. Um, I just don't like them. So that's why I've never done it. But I have to say, I've had so many questions over the years, people asking me, how can I do this? Where do I, how do I do it? Blah, blah, blah. And I've always written, here's what I think I would do. And I never actually sought, sat down and said, well, let me just try it and make sure I'm not lying to these people. It seemed logically that it would work. And thankfully, I've been telling the truth. Um, so I'm going to actually do that. And uh, let's just hop into it. I'm in a photo uh, or I'm in Luminar. I've got a photo and I'm going to do a couple of quick things to it. Uh, just, you know, this is a hack edit for lack of a better word. I'm just kind of playing around. Um, there's not really a whole lot to do to this photo, to be honest. I think it's kind of beautiful. Not that I did a great job. I literally stood on the side of the lake and went click. I didn't use a tripod, nothing fancy. It was that pretty. Um, so let's say you have that photo and you're like, man, I love that photo. I'm, I'm ready to put it in my portfolio or share it online. I just need to add my logo. I'm in Luminar 4. How do I do that? Well, here's what I would do. The first thing, if I could get the right uh, thing open, is I use a Mac. If you're on Windows, I assume it's going to be the same, except for this product. Uh, this is called Keynote. This is the Mac version of PowerPoint. I open it up. It says, hey, pick a theme. I'm going to choose this black one, and I'm going to just make me a logo file real quick. Uh, delete that. I'm going to say, let's see, if you do Option G on a Mac, that gives you that uh, copyright uh, sort of thing, and I'm going to say Jim Nix Photography, which is not really something I say. I just I'm just Jim Nix, but anyway. So there it is. I'm going to uh, mess with the fonts uh, and the sizes. Let's see. A lot of people will use kind of a script like this sign painter. I don't really like that. Uh, let me just find one real quick. I'll do this. No, no, that's way too fancy. Okay, I'll stick with the Apple Chancery, whatever. Um, and I need this to be bigger. I need this to be like 150 or so. I don't know why. I just like it a little bit bigger. There we go. Let's pretend that is my logo. I'm going to save the file. File, save. I'm going to stick it. Uh, I'm going to call that logo. It's going on my desktop. I'm going to say save. Okay, so at this point, I have a logo file. I used a black background on purpose, okay? use the black background. That's my recommendation. Can you use a white one? I'm sure you can. It would probably be the opposite steps of what I'm doing, but I use a black background and I do the script in white. Okay, and the next thing to do is to say file export to images, and I use a high quality JPEG, and I'm just going to leave it with the name uh, logo and say export now. I have a JPEG copy of this slide, if you will, on my desktop and that's what I need. I need that JPEG image with my logo on it, black background, white script. Okay, so here I am in Luminar. Hey, I finished my photo. I'm excited about it. I want to share it, but I want to put my logo on there. Okay, go to the layers panel, upper right corner, click plus to add a new layer and add a new image layer. And we're going to go to my desktop and I'm going to get this logo file, which is right there. And I'm going to stick it on. And as you know, Maybe you don't know, but in Luminar, it's going to stick it on. It's going to cover the whole thing. No big deal. We're going to fix that. Click on Layer Transform, and Transform lets you squish the layer that's on top of the base layer. The base layer is my pretty photo. The top layer that I'm on right now is my signature or logo file. I'm just going to squish it down until you get the text to be whatever size you want the text to be. So. For uh, visibility purposes, I'm going to leave it kind of larger, but a lot of people will make them smaller or whatever. Um, so let me do that. Tell you what, I'm going to actually I'm going to I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Um, so I've got a dark area and I've got white script. So I'm going to hide that white script kind of in those trees. I've positioned it accordingly and I say done. Okay, and here I've got a black box with my signature file on top of my photo. Looks terrible, but that's where blend modes come in. 
we used a layer here for two reasons. The first one is you have to add that new image on top, so that requires a layer. And the second reason is, this is a key step, blend modes. You have to use a blend mode. You have a black background. You need to make that go away. The way to do that is to come down here and click on screen. Once I change it to screen blend mode, the black background disappears and I have my signature file. Now, I might need to layer transform that and move it around a little bit, which you can do anytime. You just click on transform and move it around again. So I could say, all right, I really want it like that. That looks better. Um, and then I can just say done. And there's my happy little logo that I made. So I made my logo, assuming you like the fonts that are available in Keynote or PowerPoint. Can't, by the way, can you make logo files some other way? Absolutely, I'm sure there's dozens of ways to do it. I'm not gonna go explore them because as I said, I don't really care, but here we go. I have my logo file. The screen blend mode is absolutely what happened, but here's another idea and that is, if for some reason you wanna put it up here and it doesn't show as well, let me show you this. If you put the white uh, script up here, now it, you know, you can move this around, uh, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna do something like that. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'll do up here, um, upper left. So I'll, I'll position it something like that and say done. But if for some reason you don't like the white script and you'd rather have it be black to stand out better, it'd probably look better if the background was whiter. Uh, and you don't want white script, but I got a blue background here because of the sky. You can change that blend mode again. If you go from screen and come down here to subtract, it gives you the opposite. So now I have black script um, showing up uh, so that I could use that if it was a whiter background, maybe in a sky or something. But that's really it. Make a signature file in you know PowerPoint or Keynote if you're on a Mac. And then um, don't forget the, at least on a Mac, it's option G to create that copyright uh, symbol. And then, um, you know, export it as a JPEG, add it as a new image layer, and use screen blend mode or uh, the subtract blend mode. And there you go. That's how you create a watermark and stick the watermark on your photo in Luminar. Now, having said all that, I haven't experimented with a bunch of other ways. You could probably find other ways to do this. This is how I would go about it. And uh, I just proved that it works. So I haven't been lying to people that have been asking me all these times. Um, and there you go. I do appreciate you watching and I hope that it's helpful because I get this question a lot. And I literally woke up in the middle of the night thinking about this. And I was like, all right, I just got to make the video because I got to get this out of my head. So here's the video. Hope it helps my friends. You guys stay safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you really soon. Take care and adios.